Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. And today we are going over the January e-club kit. I am behind on videos from all that sickness. And um, I've had a few people say that um, they can't hear my voice like it's a muffled um, sound. I'm sorry for that. I, I still haven't gotten my, all of my voice strength from being sick, so I'm trying not to strain. I don't have a separate microphone that's attached to my camera, so um, what you hear is being picked up by my camera that's above me, and it is above me. It's not right in front of me, so I apologize. My voice is just not um, strong right now. And it will get better once the sickness is all gone. But anyway, just wanted to address that. This was the January kit. And I know if you have the e-club uh, kit, if you are a subscriber, then um, maybe you haven't made whatever you're going to make with it yet. Um, I know Mom has already showed her project with the kit. And um, it was spectacular. So I will not top her project but just wanted to show you in this video what I plan to do with mine. Now in the kit you got a um, fine tip precision tip applicator bottle for your glue so it's got this teeny tiny little bitty tip on it. It's wonderful. I was gifted one of these so I already have this and these are on back order. This is mine and instead of putting the cap on and off, on and off, on and off, every time I use it, I just stuck a little straight pin with a ball head on mine. So there's mine. So I am going to put this one back into the shop for sale. Um, we are on back order for whatever reason. I don't know if um, Quilled Creations is having an issue with production right now or what but these have been on back order forever so I'm going to put this in the shop back for sale uh, you got some seam binding now it's a yard and um, you either got this autumn uh, brown color you got chocolate or you got like a creamy white in your kit and then you got, sorry, had to open up the classing bag. You got a little VersaFine mini um, ink pad. And you either got, I think the colors that they sent us were Spanish Moss, Smoky Gray, or uh, the True Black. Any of the three, I wanted Smoky Gray so bad I couldn't stand it. And I just got the look of the draw of whatever kit was left over. And I got Spanish Moss. I do already have the black. You've seen me use that in videos. I already have the black full uh, ink pad. But I did get Spanish Moss. So I'm excited about that because I don't have a green in VersaFine. I love VersaFine ink. When you are stamping, it is like the best most pristine ink you will ever use versify so that is a little trophy right there to keep and <laughs> make sure you don't lose then you got i think that was five or six uh butterfly brads now those are the most little darling things ever and they're a silver shiny silver finish and you got a pack of jolie's boutique butterflies and they have some sparkle to them. I love those stickers. I, we don't get a lot of Jolie stuff. You know, those were very popular back in the 90s. Um, don't get a lot of Jolie's um, anymore, but she's coming out, that company is coming out with some really cute stuff. So maybe we'll get extra in some of the future kits. Um, this is the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Weathered Garden die cuts, and there are all that's in there. I'm not going to pull out all of those, but lots and lots of little wonderful die cuts, and what I don't use get to go in my ephemera book, so 
I'm excited about that. I love nature. I love butterflies. So those die cuts are right down my alley. You get a half pack of the enamel dots that um, uh, match the kit. Ooh, I can't think of my words this morning. Then you get two random pieces of book page. I told you in a uh, video a couple of months back that we were going wanting to start adding in book page to our e-club kits. So you get two in the January. And then if I can get the little tape tab started so I can open this up, you get the full six by eight paper pad of Simple Vintage Weathered Garden from Simple Stories. And this is some beautiful paper, y'all. It's got some greens and teals, a little bit of aqua. you got journal cards. you got plaids. Look at that stripe. Very pretty. Mmm, those butterflies right there would be gorgeous fussy cut out ideas 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 you got polka dots beautiful beautiful paper pad so you get that full paper pad and then you get a gray cardstock a stone colored cardstock and a green cardstock. So usually we only send two pieces of cardstock. This um, month we decided that we would send three. So you get three pieces of cardstock in this kit. So yay! I'm excited. I'm saying this kit. It's, uh, I'm doing this video late. This was the January E Club kit. And I'm just now getting around to doing a video on it. How about let's make a journal? Yeah. So I'm thinking a mini album. And I want to do uh, a 4 by 6 So little mini. Love it. Um, I love this paper. So I want this to be included in the front of the journal. I want, excuse me, I want this to be my cover so I'm going to cut off that branding strip and then I'm going to cut this down to probably six and an eighth by eight and an eighth just to give me that little bit of lip for the cover so so I need to cut my length eight and an eighth and then I will save that and then cut my height six and an eighth. Okay, so we've got a piece that's just a little bit bigger than our sheet that come out of our pad. I'm just lining it up where I folded it. That's not the true fold line as far as score line, I mean. Let's see. Okay. I just started my fold first. And then placed it on my board and scored it. There we go. All right, so there is my little cover. Too cute. And then I'm going to fold this. Now, this paper that is in its actual cardstock in the paper pad, it is cardstock, but it's not too thick. I'm going to leave my bone folder out because I need that for a while, huh? It's not too thick. So I'm going to use that throughout the little journal. When I put that in there, I've got just a tiny little sixteenth of an inch at the top and a tiny little sixteenth inch at the bottom. And then you just got your little sixteenth of an inch 
there too. Already looking beautiful. I love it. For the cover, How do you I like that pattern. Maybe that pattern with this little choose to be happy somewhere on the front. That's pretty. Maybe even both of those kind of cattywampus. We shall see. I think I need to cut this. Let's see what this is folded. We've got four and a sixteenth by six and an eighth. Six by just right under four. And let's see what kind of little mat we will have there. Yep. Wonderful. And I'm going to use my little Spanish Moss Versafine as my ink around the edges here. And then kind of dirty it up a little bit on the edges also. Um, I think I will use my walnut stain around the edges of this. So all around the edges of your cover, whatever cover you're going to use, whatever color, cardstock. And then I'm going to turn it over. I got some green ink on the back, but I will cover the back also. So not to worry. All right, I'm going to let that dry because Versafine, it takes just a minute to dry. So I'm going to leave that to do its thing. I am going to round my corners. I like rounding one at a time, not sandwiching it together and rounding the corners. Just works better for me. My corner rounder doesn't like to um, cooperate sometimes. Then I'll need to re-ink those corners. A cute little gift. I'm going to round just the front two corners of this so it kind of matches. And then I gotta get a little more ink on those corners around. Oh, look at that! How cute! I love it. All right, I'm going to use my ATG glider. I call it a gun. I don't know. It's a glider. ATG glider. You have to pull a trigger to get it to go. So that's why I call it a gun. It's a glider. Anyway. I have this linked in my Amazon storefront and I always uh, link my Amazon storefront in the description box below. So if you're on your phone, it may be a little um, down arrow here on the right, right down here. Or um, if you're on desktop or laptop or something like that, it may be um, where you see my description of my the title and everything right under that see more right under here. Okay, so either one of those, that's how you uh, open up the full description of YouTube videos so you can see everybody's links and stuff. Okay, just try not to move this around too much because that ink is probably still not all the way dry. And then I will line up on this side and hopefully that gets us all lined up on the front side too. Yep, we're good. Journal cards that I'm thinking about using on the front. I don't know, it's so tiny. We might only be able to use the one. We shall see though. These are also cute and you've seen me do this before. Um, these little journal cards, if you don't want to use just one of them, fold this 
in half and make little tiny micro mini journals. Those are always cute. Oh yeah, it's only going to be room for one. So let's cut this other one out and see which one I like the best. Because I really like that butterfly. Y'all know me and butterflies. Me and Mama both. See, I really like that. That's just pretty. And see, that one's too busy. It just kind of blends in. That one. Yep. And let's go ahead and round the corners of it. And then I'm going to use the walnut stain to get that contrast walnut stain. Then I did um, the VersaFine Spanish Moss, and now I'm doing the walnut stain again. So you got that layeredness to it. And I believe I might tear some book page to go back behind this. Let's see. Yeah, I think it needs a little something maybe like that old dictionary page and I will cut it out like this and take off that edge there and maybe do a little something like that and a little something like that look and see in the die cut pack there's a little stem or something oh my goodness gracious pretty pretty mm. that's just too pretty to not have on the front but it's too big so let's find a smaller one I think I found it y'all I think I like that one better than that one yep let's just go with it I'm going to put adhesive on the corners of my little journal card first. And then I'm going to place my paper the way I want it on the edges here. I need to ink some more there. Then, yep, it's all good to go ahead and be put completely down. So I'll add adhesive all the way around. Now, now of course, you can use liquid glue. You don't have to use double-sided tape. That's all that is, is Scotch brand double-sided tape. All right, I want to get this pretty much in the center, but it doesn't have to be exact. Make sure we're good, and it does look good. Then I'll get my liquid glue for these little die cuts. Okay, I think I want to add one of these little brads here at the bottom where that stem is. And then if I add the hole there, put in my brad, and then I'll have the brad legs sticking out on this side. But I'm going to cover this and then there's going to be a pocket here. So I'll cover the legs with paper and then put a pocket. And even when I put stuff down in it, it's not going to disrupt whatever I put in there. And then I think I will put a couple of enamel dots on the outside too. So let's get my all and let's lay it out here be smart Melina let's see I want it right in the crook of that leaf or branch or bow or whatever we're going to call it pretty I like that okay so I'm going to lay it on the other side, put the legs out. So there's our brad set. I think maybe 
one here and two here kind of offset and then which ones do I want to use I think I want to just use the tiny one since this is a mini journal okay so I went against my whole law of three rule of three and I went with five at least it's still the odd number uh, this bottom end down here needed a dark one needed a smoky gray one I went with the power of five instead of the power of three so I've got that dark green one there smoky gray here a chartreuse here an aqua here and then another smoky gray there and I think that rounds it out quite well I want this to be one of the first pages you see when you open it up I'm going to go ahead and round those corners and then I'll have pockets on the insides of those also so I have the inside uh, covers covered <laughs> and remember yes these are two wild patterns right beside each other but they will not be seen once you get your pages put inside they won't be seen together anymore and then I have the back cover done I rounded those corners those back corners before I thought about it oh well I'm good it's the back I've got this page to go in there and then I want my book pages to go in there so I want to cut my book pages down to size and they can be even a little smaller they don't have to be the exact size of this I like when the pages in a junk journal are not all exactly the same size I like little small ones and you know things like that so let's cut this let's cut these sides off and go ahead and cut all the way up to the page number mm, I kind of like that side the crumpled side where it came out of the book so let's leave that cut the top now if we fold these in half you've got little pages to go inside I like that all right I think I want to fold them this way so the little crumpled edge can be at my top. I have a certain way I like my book pages to go into my signature. So when you put book page in, unless you're making a large journal, the book page is always going to be to the side. So I like it where when you open up the signature you could actually read the words if you want to the words are not upside down so that's just a quirk I have that's the way I like to put my pages into my signatures All right, and then I just pulled some papers some dyed papers from my own stash and I'm going to cut them the size of this this paper remember is six by eight and I just rounded the corners these six by eight and then these are the off cuts from this I cut off the length the eight and a half by eleven I cut off the length so we have eight and a half by just a little under five so we could cut these at the folded length of eight and use them as smaller sheets throughout the signature. Fold these in half. You've got some pages that kind of match up with those. And then 
fold these in half. There we go. So those fit right in. We'll need to round corners and then we'll disperse these throughout. So then we'll have little ones like that. I might want to go ahead and chop off some um, length on these because it looks like they'll be sticking out and just barely get if we got all the way through and we did yay we just had one little sliver that didn't come off with the rest yep that's better it's more flush I mean it is almost perfectly flush now great okay I'm going to round all of these corners um, I'm going to round all these and these I'm not going to round my book page I want those to be natural okay so that is one two three four sheets and then it, they're all off cuts so I can't talk <laughs> they're off cuts here and then I've got those book pages there so we'll you know disperse them how we want them but that is about as thick as I'm gonna want to get it I think I want to do one more page for the very middle of the signature see I love this polka dot but if I did well but the butterflies are going all different ways so that would work okay if I fold this let's see let's fold it this way the butterflies as the inside of the signature I think would be very pretty let's round the corners I'll have to trim off some of that to get it to go flush look at that as the middle I like that let's see okay so we have that would be our opening up and we'll put decoration on that we're going to put pocket there then we've got page and then we'll go flip flop flip flop flip flop with the little page big page little page book page little page big page blah 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 and then we get to the middle and we've got this super cute polka dot and open it up and there's the middle of our signature and we'll put pockets there also and decorate on there oh I think we've got our signature made we'll trim off an eighth from the end of this so it will be more flush and guys that's just what you got to do when you're making a signature especially if you're putting things in the signature that are a little thicker than regular old paper you just got to go with the flow and cut off excess and then you know see how it looks once you cut the excess off um, if it's still protruding out you're gonna have to trim off a little bit more and that is if you are as particular about the um, stick out part as I am and look at there it's pretty much flush now with the rest of the pages so there is how I get that flush look to my signatures I know I've had a few people ask about that and how I get all of that flush and there it is there's that flush signature for you so now we are going to organize these pages back and forth and back and forth and then we'll get it sewn in so now we have the signature pages all put together as far as how we want them so open it up and you've got a dark coffee or tea stained and then you've got a book page you have a smaller little page here that's just ink dyed there's another ink dyed but full size 
then a tea stained and then more book page and more smaller off cuts and then you've got that center and then you start all over in the back and I've got my um, smaller pages set how I want them because I don't want them all the way at the bottom or all the way at the top so I want them kind of in the middle but they all don't have to be exactly in the middle so most of them are a little bit further down so you know you can move them up and down how you need to while you're holding that spine and making sure you know that it doesn't move out of its fold so then I'm going to just kind of pop it a few times like that make sure that all of my pages are lined up when I get this this is a thicker signature for such a small cover so when I get this put inside the cover I will probably have some overhang here and I'm okay with that I'm not a big stickler for oh that's kind of sticking out so it's ruined it's handmade so that's part of the love that I have for these little mini journals and get my gifted to me jumbo paper clips thank you Betty Ann Renfro she's my girl y'all she just she hooks me up here we go and I'm going to clip here and I'm clipped I've got the signature clipped all the way you know onto the covers not just the signature together itself all the way covers and all and I'm going to close it up a few times look open it up maneuver around make sure that that signature is all the way crease down in that fold the way it should be and then when I fold it up like this making sure that there's no buckling and if there is smooth that out and then I'm just looking to make sure that everything looks how it should there in that corner then I'm going to get just to define it even more my square ruler and just kind of pop down in that fold so I'm going to get my awl and just down the middle while I'm holding the book up like this because you want it you want it to go directly through that fold not off to one side if you lay it out flat it's going to go off to one side I guarantee that one okay and then just kind of eyeball the middle if you want to measure you can I just don't I never have really I think maybe the very first one I ever made I actually um, measured and made sure okay I am through but I need to go through just a little bit more okay there I am through everything and then I'm not going to go all the way to the ends I'm just going to make myself let's see I'm going to make sure to get in on these little pages the smaller pages too I'm just going to go up about three-fourths of the way And then same thing down here making sure that I'll catch those little pages too and there we go so I've got my holes I'm gonna try to keep the book tinted or just fold it over lay it over like that I'm gonna go one two three and that should give me plenty and a tie in the middle if I want it I'd rather have more 
wax thread then not enough then get it through my needle I might have to go to the other end that end is wanting to fray on me there we go then you are going to go through the middle hole from inside out and then leave yourself a tail that is long enough that you're going to be able to tie you know the knot or whatever I usually leave my tail as long as my page here so I've got it just a little bit longer but that's usually the length that I try to keep at okay then you're gonna go keeping your book together fold it up you're gonna go through see how easy that was there's my needle all the way through already first try not having to struggle to get it through okay and then I'm gonna go all the way to that top hole keeping my book folded to make sure that it goes through correctly and then I'm going to go back through the middle and I'm going to pull that middle and go over my needle so that I've got a string on this side of that middle and then I've got a string on the other side of that middle okay making sure not to split the wax thread I can go ahead and take my needle off pull three ways okay then I'm going to go to the outside and make sure that there's nothing that is not taut and that looks pretty good to me so I'm going to go ahead and tie this up I'm not going to leave a bow I'm just going to tie once tie twice tie thrice <laughs> okay. then cut off my excess take off my jumbo clip close it up and then I'm going to turn it over and run my bone folder back and forth and back and forth and back and forth just to make sure that I've got a good nice fold look at that y'all and see it's barely showing out on that outer edge there I've got good coverage top and bottom there everything is in and secure let's see even the book page has three holes in them so that makes me very happy I love 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 that all right on this little knot on the inside I'm gonna hit it a couple of times with my bone folder and just run over it back and forth and back and forth to make sure that that is nice and secure lovely lovely oh everything looks so nice love that okay so we're going to have a pac-man mouth because we've got a large signature in such a small journal but i'm okay with that all right now we need to put pocket decoration pocket decoration pocket pocket decoration pocket and pocket all right oh yeah and decorate that one too and those die cuts are going to come in very handy with that so for our pockets I'm going to show you this first one and then all of the other pockets will be the exact same way so I'll go through and put in all the rest after I show you this first pocket okay I'm going to do three and a half inch tall pockets 
So I need to cut my height at, uh, let's see, let's do four and we'll make half inch gussets. Okay, so cut my paper at four inches and then I'm going to cut my paper widthwise. Touch under, maybe that one little tick mark, one sixteenth under five inches. Okay, and then I'm going to, all right, I'm going to score at the half inch mark. I'm going to score at the four and a half inch mark. And then I'm going to turn it and score the bottom at the half inch mark. Okay, so turn over gusset, turn over gusset, turn over gusset, and let's make sure that this is the correct looks a little bit wide to me so I'm just going to go over on my fold for my side gusset I'm just going to go over a little bit more just train it in just a touch then I'm going to Cut off my edges around these bottom corners. I think I want to do the half inch round instead of the little quarter inch round. <laughs> that gives me craziness at the bottom, but it's just exactly what I need. Yep, and I'm going around these top ones also at the half inch just almost perfection and I love that okay and then I'm going to do the tab top instead of the circle top so I'm going to use my we are memory keepers tab punch and go just until the lines start to go in and make sure I'm pretty much in the center and punch and that gives me that tab top cute I like that and then of course we will decorate the um, pockets too and then I'm going to put this pocket in with score tape, the eighth inch score tape. Y'all know I like using my eighth inch score tape when I'm putting in pockets. Anybody that has watched any of my start to finish journal videos knows that I love using the eighth inch score tape. So here's that. I'm gonna put that on my gussets all the way around and maybe even two lines of it if needed if you've got some thicker score tape of course you can use that so yeah I'll just do two lines of it on my gussets on the back and then before I put the pocket in or adhere it in I'm going to lay down my side gussets and then push up on my bottom gusset so that that one when it goes in it's on the outside that's going to give me a little bit more inside my pocket when I'm putting things in it if my bottom gusset the outside okay and then get my bone folder and press that in good and then of course when you have gussets on your pockets it's going to give your book a little bit more girth but I love a gusset on a pocket it just gives so much more room to put things in love that okay so I'm going to um, add pockets to the insides here here 
here and the back cover and I will do all of those exactly like I just did that one. Be right back. All right, I have gotten all of my pockets put in. So there was the one that we did together and then open it up there. And there is the one for the inside of that signature cover. And then we go to the middle and that is the paper that I chose for the middle pages. And then here's this one and it also matches that one there. And then I matched the two inside covers also. And while I was off camera doing all of that, I went ahead and found that page in the um, pad that had those beautiful uh, stamped looking butterflies on it right there that one so I cut that paper out and I used the back side for my inside cover there see and I made sure just to cut out my butterflies on that paper and then I sit and fussy cut all of those butterflies and then inked around them with my walnut stain I also went ahead and cut out the other page of journal cards so we can add these these go so well in our little pockets look how well those go in there so ready-made tags to put inside there and these have a plain enough background that you can just write directly on there these are a little wild you could still write on that but um, if you wanted to use them as journal cards or tags if you wanted to put something at the top there then you would probably need to um, put on some coffee dyed paper or something on the backs of them so that you could use them as journaling so uh, the next thing I wanted to do is a little something special. I have never seen this done before. Somebody, I am sure, has done it before. And I will get a comment from somebody saying, Oh yeah, so-and-so did it. And that's great. That's fine. I want to make a little um, specialty place marker and be permanent in this journal. So I'm using that same binding that came in the kit and I've got one end of it underneath, see there, I've got it underneath that um, wax thread that we put the signature together with. All right, then I'm going to get some Fabri-Fix and if you've got Fabri-Tac, whatever, whatever fabric glue you have, I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Fix here on the end and I'm going to lap it over and attach it there. So I'm going to kind of do it a little catty this way. Learns to go this way instead of straight across because our place marker is going to be out the top this way. So just make sure not to get any Fabri-Fix or whatever fabric glue you're using on your paper itself and then fold it up around that wax thread that you've got in the middle. I'm going to get my rag. In. Okay, it's around my wax thread. I know I say okay and so a lot. Sorry. I'm going to blot, blot, blot with my rag. And that's going to get all of the excess out without it getting on your paper. And then once that fabric glue dries, then you're not going to see a whole lot of that darkness. Of course, there is still going to be some of that. If you have a better way of putting ribbon together for it to adhere, go for it. Do whatever method you like, but just make sure that you have about... Mm, what is that? About an inch, maybe three-fourths of an inch overlay there in the middle. You're going to, you can go ahead and do this while it's still wet too. Kind of fold it up and you're going to have it 
come out the top of your sign of your journal like this this is so tiny I want to just call it a signature but it is a full journal so there you've got your place marker that's inside your journal and say you were on this page you just fold it over like so and you've got a page marker and then you could even add some beads or something to the bottom of this that would be very very pretty I think I want to cut that off just a little bit it's too long because that's as far away from the signature as it's going to get and it's still pretty long banner cut there we go that's better that's a better length I like that now if you're going to put beads on it you probably wanted to leave it long so you could thread on those beads I think I'm just going to leave it like that because I really love it okay now it is decorating time and anybody that watches any of my videos probably are like oh she is not happy right now because she's having to decorate but these are so pretty and easy that I'm liking this one so I'm, I'm not too too bad overwhelmed as far as um, decorating goes on this one see I love that how easy that is it's already done don't have to do much more to it if we don't want to I'm gonna do I've got this old dictionary page and I'm going to do a little strip like this and see let's see what I need to tear off so tear off here and here and then add that behind there I love that simple done let's get it inked on the edges where the butterfly is not going to be covering it up pretty now these pockets could be decorated up as much as you would like or as little as you would like because this paper collection that we got from the January e-club kit is amazing so there's not much else that you need to do to it I'm just saying um, that is gorgeous like that and maybe one of our little fussy cut butterflies like that I love it let's go ahead and put it down I think I'll add one of Nancy's fancies word labels here at the bottom middle of that so we can um, get some of this paper out of here and make some tags for the pockets or just add our journaling cards to the pockets so I'll do that and then yep we've got plenty of pockets to add stuff to and then I want to get that Tim Holtz uh, stamp that I have shown before this one is very interesting it's almost got like giraffe spots at the top on the top wings I like that so let's get our stamp block and I want to stamp some butterflies on some of these pages just in the corners still leaving yourself plenty of room to journal on the pages but I just love these little butterflies and I thought maybe right here in the top center look at that how pretty that is I love that see I'm glad I got the Spanish moss ink now <laughs> and I'm going to get my heat tool out just to give it a little blast about 15 seconds and it gets it all nice and dry so that way you can turn your page easily so see you can still write on that super super duper easy okay I love the contrast of um, this kind of chartreuse green up against that polka dot so a butterfly straight like that and maybe have a little word label here so there's the decoration on that page and then we've got our pockets that we'll need to fill up with tags or journal cards and then I want to do some more stamping 
I think I'm going to go on the bottom of the center on this one. Rock it back and forth just a little bit to get that all nice and... Oh, I just love that. I don't know that I want to put anything. Maybe just a little something. Yeah, because I love the wording and stuff on these pockets. So maybe just a little stem or a magnolia. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Very simple and pretty. Love that. Okay, we've got that done. I'm just going through making sure. Now, on the pages, if you wanted to, you could go through and all your little off cuts, you could add little pieces to the edges of the pages to dress them up if you wanted to do that. This one is so small, I want to leave the pages pretty much as is except for my little stamping that I go through and do. Um, just so that there's enough room for journaling. On these, I think I'm going to do more of my dictionary page. Okay, so there's that for that. I will come back and we do a stem or something of some kind. There at the bottom of it. Uh, this says, you are loved. I will use the charity um, word label from Nancy's Fancies because biblically... That's the word it was that was used a lot of times for the word love was charity. Pretty. Like it, like it, like it. And let's go bottom corner. beauty mate gorgeous this would make a beautiful specimen um like a butterfly specimen journal mm -hmm. ideas 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 love 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 i will come back to that and let's do here and let's stamp one more here and we'll be done with our stamp. I say butterfly, it's a moth, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go top middle again like I did up front. Ooh, I like that. And then we can just chop off that bottom part. Did I ink that one up front? Yes, I did. Okay, good. All right, ink, ink, ink. So let's go bottom of pocket. There we go. And then put a little dot of glue there to hold that down. This one, I'm going to use this and this in my middle signature. So let's use one of these on the top here. Or, since we've already got a butterfly on there, we could come over here and find a nice pretty little magnolia of some kind that's not too uber, uber big. Oh, that one's huge. Okay, we got that down. Glue this down. This little fearless label. So that's all nice and decorated. Ooh, look at these butterflies that are in here. Oh, oh that one's gorgeous. Okay, yes, found it. Yay. <laughs> Let's ink the edges of that. Oh, and then ink this. Let's go ahead and give us a little bit of a tear on the edge without taking away too much of that page. There we go. Very pretty, very pretty bird for I can't. <laughs> I promise it's just coffee in my cup. <laughs> oh man. Gorgeous. I'm going to put this one here. 
and then we need to make a tag for that front pocket and tags for our middle pockets let's go ahead and put down our dictionary page and butterflies for these pockets there are those two pages or pockets decorated find what cardstock out of the paper pad that I want to use and go ahead and cut those three by five here are my tags and I'm going to round all corners ink my edges and then for the back of each of the tags I have cut some tea stained paper two and three quarter by four and three quarter to cover the back so that they can be written on used as journaling tags so they will go on like that and we will ink the edges before we tape them down I always try to remember to use my ATG whenever I am um, putting down this kind of just copy paper that's been dyed because my liquid glue buckles my coffee dyed paper just copy paper the thin stuff so I will use the ATG to put this down and just go down all sides like that and then for my tassel at the top I'm going to use some seam binding and my Tim Holtz tiny attacher so I'll just do a little short piece because I don't really want it to hang out over my journal so a little short piece like that and then if I can find little die cuts in the pack and I'm going to put them on like that I'm going to ink around and then just staple through the butterfly poor butterfly they're going to get a little staple and I like to let the butt of the ribbon kind of fall down below before I staple so that that bulk is not directly under whatever I put on top okay so I'm just going to line it up the way I want it I'm really really not looking for perfection y'all if I did I'd never make a video that's for sure okay so there is our first little tag done and this is one that's going to go here, maybe here. And then we're going to put the um, stripy one there. And then this one, once we get it covered with the butterflies, is going to go in the front pocket there. Okay, so I'm going to get all these put together just like I just done them with you and um, I'll probably use this little butterfly on another one and then I want to find a little magnolia look at there I'm going to put that one on this to go in that center of the signature and then I think I'm going to be done I'll give you a final flip through once I get these tags done and put in all right, it's flip through time, and we got little Lila Rose. Can you look up there at him? <laughs> she does not want to look up there at him. She's looking at me, though. Hurry's ready for my flip through, aren't you? Are you ready? Are you ready? Butterflies, yeah. We have finished our little mini journal. I love it so much. Do you love it, Lila Rose? Yeah? yeah let's turn this way can you turn this way for me there we go all right you're going to help me flip through 
<laughs> we took her to the vet, y'all, and she weighs two pounds and four ounces now. So she is gaining weight. She is doing really good with gaining weight, aren't you? Aren't you? Okay. You ready to go back to Bethany? Okay. All right. There was her appearance for this video. I'll do that flip through all by myself, I guess. Here you go, Bethany. All right. So, little four by six journal. Great little journal to add to your purse if you wanted to. Just put it in like a little Ziploc bag. And you could carry this around in your purse and jot down all kinds of good stuff. You could... Um, document butterfly pictures in this cute little journal. I love this, y'all. So there's that uh, front tag that we did with the coffee dyed paper on the back. And then the little journal card that we put in that pocket. And these pockets are wide enough. You can put lots more stuff in it. That little stamped image there. We've got more pages and more pages for you to write on. I love all of this space for writing. Another little stamped image. Then another journal card spread there. Ticket with that coffee dyed paper on the back. The other one that we did there. Our um, centerpiece of the page marker that we made is there and it lays flat y'all it's, it's very nice there's another little cluster we did more pages another little stamped moth book page there's our little page marker there I just love that idea and another stamped image there and then all the way back, our back pocket has another journal card there and room for more things. This is the back signature cover, not the back cover of the journal. Another little um, cluster we made there. And then another journal card there, that pocket. And then there is the back cover. And look at that. I got green ink on there. So... Let's cover that bad boy up. I like that. So you can actually see the splotch. Because y'all know I'm all about splotchy. I love splotchy. So let's do that and add that butterfly on really, really well. I'm going to use my forest moss because it dries a lot quicker than that VersaFine. So let's just use that on this die cut of glue to make sure that all the edges are down. I don't like putting anything on my back cover just because usually your journal is going to be laying down and um, that back cover is going to get all kinds of wear and tear. But one little bitty thing put on the back as long as it's glued down well. Okay, we have covered up our little boo-boo there. I didn't even notice that until I started to flip through, y'all, or I got to that part of the flip through. Craziness. Now I'm all inky. Nice and inky. Okay, so this is one of the cutest little mini journals I think I've ever made. I love this thing. I will give you some still shots at the end, and I hope you enjoyed this video. It is long, but of course, when you're going to do a um, start to finish journal, you're going to have to expect a long video. I edited it out as much as I could so that you can still get a full tutorial. So, y'all have a great day. I will see you in the next video. God bless. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.